Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. I'm here sitting with Ernest Mitchell, my guy. Dallas, nice yeah, from yeah. Dallas. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Dallas, Texas in the building. We down here chilling. This is sports talk. We got a lot to talk about today. Uh, mainly about the Cowboys. We're going to go over the NFC uh, in, the Cow- in, the, in, the, in the NFL. And uh, first thing I got to talk about is my guy, DJ Kool-Aid. He's doing a show on Big Boost Radio. Join Big him Boost. on Old School Sundays from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. He does a choir store from 10 to midnight. He also does an EDM show on Monday from 8 to 10. And he's so, turning it up. He's turning it up. Yeah. Trust me. Hey, yeah. hey he's, he's doing his thing, man. Mr. Yeah, K.A. Side, yeah. man. That's my guy right there. And we're going to go ahead and get into uh, the Dallas Cowboys, man, because that's where we are. We're in Texas, man. We're going to go ahead and just rep these, these Dallas Cowboys, man. And uh, this is this is your team, right? It's the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, man. man. It made it's me fun. proud, man. It made me proud. <laughs> like, now, now I'm seeing Super Bowls all over again. I don't care. Most Cowboy fans, we talk about Super Bowl every year. But this year, it, it looks way more clear. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, it was it was a nice game. What do you what do you think about my team? <laughs> I think the offensive coordinator has definitely got them off to a hot start, especially with the play calling. I mean, you, you, without a doubt, you can see that Dak Prescott is more comfortable in the offense. Uh, the wide receivers are basically all playmakers, is what yeah, it looks like to me. There's a lot of yak going on, a lot, a lot of yak. Yeah. yeah. I and mean, that's what I like. Yeah. I like Kanye, I like yak. <laughs> so it, it was all good for me, man. Yeah. Shout out, go Cowboys. Man. Yeah. So go Cowboys. Um, they had a great game. Uh, Dak Prescott had a great game. Yeah. Um, basically, everybody knows they won the game. And uh, well, they paid. They paid that boy his money finally. So now, now we can we can see we can see Zeke the freak do his thing. You know. Yeah. And you add Zeke to what already what already looked like you know they're they're gelling. It's it's looking it's looking Super Bowlish right now. Yeah. In Dallas. So I'm I'm rooting for him. I'm rooting for him. We got oh, yeah. some, we got we got some of the best receivers. And we didn't get them like how we normally get them after the prime and all that stuff on the on the back end. We got these guys, uh, a bunch of a bunch of guys from different teams that was playmakers on their own respective team before they came to Dallas. And now they're here and they want to win. They understand what their star is about. So man, watch out, watch out. <laughs> For sure. That's right. You got to watch out for those wide receivers. Amari Cooper is definitely a star in the making for the Dallas Cowboys, along with Gallup and Cobb as well. Those are definitely some playmakers. The three head monster, man. The three head monster. The three head. Yeah. But he's damn near like a fucking like ten head monster. Yeah. You know? So it's it's looking good. It's looking good. I'm I'm, a, I'm I'm excited about about our season. And we got Washington tomorrow, twelve o'clock. You know, which is which is pretty good because I can I can wake up early, watch my Cowboys, and then I can I can go finish my day because after Cowboys football, I'm kind of like, man. But I I am excited to check out Tennessee Titans. I do want to check out the Titans because I'm 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 excited about what what they're doing. Also, you know, speak on your boys. Oh know. yeah, yeah, we definitely gonna get to the Tennessee Titans, man. Definitely, uh, they had a big win over the Cleveland Browns last Sunday. And, but you know, you know I'm a fan of Tennessee Titans, but first I gotta stick with the Cowboys, man. Oh, I gotta go the into Cowboys. the contracts that just <laughs> got signed by the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Zeke Elliott, he signed a six year, $90 million contract, $7.5 million bonus. Uh, his salary is 15 million and he's guaranteed 50 million Money, money, money. And contracts don't even stop there. Uh, Lael Collins signed a five-year contract through 2024, $32 million guaranteed. He's only 26. And Jalen Smith, the linebacker, he signed a six-year contract, $68 million. Five big fan, million. Big fan of Jalen. Oh. You're, doing, you're doing your thing, man. You're doing your thing. The defense is looking great. Offense is looking great. I'm glad they're paying these people. Pay them, man. They're making you billions. 
pay these people. <laughs> Jerry Jones is definitely stepping up for sure, man. I'm, I'm glad Jerry Jones is definitely stepping up. Uh, Jalen Smith has got 35.4 million guaranteed, 19 million guaranteed on his contract when he signed the dotted line. So uh, a lot of money. Jerry Jones is definitely stepping the game up, getting his pair, getting his players paid. Um, making sure that offensive line is going to be set for the next couple of years because he wants to see them win the Super Bowl. Obviously, you know, he's getting old and, you know, he may have yeah, to hand the team over to his son, Steven. I don't know. He's, he's not ready. He's probably, he probably handed over on his death bed. You know, <laughs> when, he, when he have about like 30 seconds to live, I think that's when he's going to hand that over. And, you know, you know, Jerry Jones is a freak of nature, so he's going to be around for like another – 30 years anyway. He he don't he don't he don't want to die at all. He won't he want to enjoy the Cowboys for as long as he possibly can. No doubt. So I don't I don't think he's not going anywhere anytime soon, but the good thing is his prayers might be answered this season. You know, I'm excited to see. They definitely played good uh when they played against the Giants. Uh Eli Manning had a so-so game, but Dak Prescott came out, he threw for four hundred and five yards and four TDs. Which is crazy. He had a he had a <laughs> yeah, he was definitely good. Yeah, that's that's what a real quarterback do. Four hundred yards, when you put yourself in a four hundred yard club per game, you know, starting out, it you know, it's 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 exciting to see. That means it's a bunch of big plays going on in Dallas. Oh yeah. yes, definitely. Excited to see. Also, Amari Cooper had six receptions for 106 yards. Dallas Cowboys are off to a hot start, basically. And uh, <clears throat> another team in their division. We're gonna move on from the Dallas Cowboys a little bit. I know we we yeah. got a Dallas Cowboys it up because that's where we are. But yeah, definitely. The Philadelphia Eagles beat Ooh. the Redskins, 32 to 27. Boo, both, both. It was a, uh, it was a, uh, you know, hold on. I can't have had this happen. But let me say this, though. Washington came out, and they were hot. Washington came out, and they were definitely hot. Um, in the first half, Washington was leading. Philadelphia Eagles came back in the second half. Carson Wentz led them back. Um, Deshaun Jackson had eight receptions for 154 yards and two TDs. Carson Wentz threw for 313 yards and three TDs. He was on fire in the second half. So you got to say that, without a doubt, they want to say Philadelphia Eagles are ahead of the Dallas Cowboys in the division, but I disagree. I honestly believe that the Dallas Cowboys, the way they run their plays, the play calling, the way the defense is ready to go from the start of the game, Dallas Cowboys are ready to go. This is a, this is a Super Bowl contending team. You're talking about Tom Brady. You can talk about the Patriots if you want to. You can talk about... Uh, who that? Yeah. If yeah. you want to, the Saints. Yeah. Actually, I like the Saints. I like the Saints. The Saints, I, I, Saints all right. They, they I like Breeze they and big Alvin fan Kamara. Breeze. Yeah, Texas, big friend. Of course. So, I, yeah. But Washington and Philly, like that's one of the games that I wish they both could have lost. You know, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a fan of either of the teams. Neither, <laughs> either, whatever. You know, they. Uh, I don't. I don't like Philly. I don't like Washington. So, uh, you know. It is talk yeah. about anybody else. You know, yeah, I don't. I don't want to spoil the podcast with my, you know, with my bitching and complaining. Every, everybody has their own opinions about yeah, their team. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. a fan of a team. Everybody has a team. Uh, yeah, but and we like Philly. Philly, it is what it is. Yeah, but Washington. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee. Yes. Tennessee put a beat down on the Cleveland Browns. Last Sunday, it was a 43-13 win. It nice. was it was pretty much close through uh, three quarters, and the Titans kind of took off. But the Titans' defense was smothering the quarterback. I mean, pretty much. I mean, he really didn't really have a chance in that game. Derrick Henry took off. He had 19 attempts for 80, what, four yards, 89 yards, a TD, a reception for 75 yards, and a TD. And Brown had three receptions for three – Three, uh, actually, yeah, three receptions for 100 yards is what he had in that game. Yeah. Tennessee Titans basically took off in that game. Uh, that's my team, and they, they took off. I'm just proud that they can actually show that they're ready to contend in that division because Andrew Luck, you know, 
had yeah. an injury. He retired. Yeah, he's out of there. He retired. He decided that he's, he's tired of, of recouping from all the injuries that he had. And but he's, he's smart. Let him go. Like, he's smart. Yeah. Like, it, he don't, you know, he, he made his money. He found out it's not for him. It's not for him. But back to the Tennessee Titans, I heard some news on what, what is contributing to them playing so, so such good ball. Like 15 of the players, they went vegan last season. And so that's why the last season, it was the beginning of, of them coming up in the, in the NFL. But, but they got 15 players that went vegan. They, they eat together. You know, I like the brotherhood in that. And I like how they're trying to make each other healthier. And it's showing on the field, you know. All the, what, you, what you eat, it matters. What you put in your body, it does matter. And if you don't believe it, look at Tennessee. You know, so I'm 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 proud of them guys. You know, for for doing doing something positive in in the NFL. You know, standing standing for something that's not 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 so not so political and all that stuff. It's just it's just they they are shining light on on watching what you eat. You know, you put you put good stuff in your body, you perform good and. And hey, proof is in the pudding, man. Go, go, Tennessee. Go I'm gonna watch Tennessee also. You know, I'm not. I'm. I'm. A, I'm gonna watch Cowboys, of course. But I. I'm. A, I'm gonna look at Tennessee a little bit closer now. And I think you should too. You know, and yeah. and look it up. You know what I'm saying? Just go for it. You know. Yeah, Tennessee, Tennessee. Titans. Are, Tennessee Titans are definitely doing something that I didn't even know about. Ernest, he just brought this to my attention today. I had no idea that a lot of players for the Titans are going vegan. I mean, uh, I like to eat meat. I like I like my steaks. I'm not gonna lie with them. When I watch when I watch a game, I'm yeah, I'm eating. I'm do, yeah. dude. I'm doing I'm doing wings. Yeah, see, I'm, me too. I'm, I'm doing still eat wings. You know what I mean? Man. Like like I done went vegan for like a month or so, and I found that it's it's hard work, man. Yeah, it's hard work. But I'm not a I'm not a million dollar athlete. So uh-huh. if I was a million dollar athlete, I would definitely watch what I put in my body. Yeah, because. You know, Cause like all that, everything matters. Exactly, know? everything matters. You put your body through a lot of of trauma every game. Every know? game. So it, it matters. So something like we touched on last game. Yeah, I mean last podcast. That's right. Yeah, like That's they right. they're running around smacking each other with plastic on. You know, at full <laughs> speed, like two hundred pound people. You know, with shitload of power. So yeah, you know, hey, watch what you eat, America. Come on now. Let's yeah. let's let's clean it up. Yeah. Let's clean it up, man. We yeah. we we too we too uh fat and sick around here, you know. And if the shoe fits, just wear it, you know. If if you ain't sick and fat, <laughs> hey, don't be don't come at me with this, okay? I'm just I'm just telling you just through research and what's going on in the world and what I see in this world. Yeah. So, but go Tennessee once again. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And uh something else we touched on exactly what Ernest is saying is basically uh, a lot of athletes pay their trainers to get them the right supplements of what they put in their body. And the problem is the trainer may not be as acceptable to knowing what really goes in his player's body. And as a result, you had one of the Tennessee Titans, the left tackle, uh-huh. He's out for four games. You know, we talked about that before. Uh-huh. Yeah, same, He's out yeah. for four games, and now he can't even play. But luckily, the Titans came out. They played good against the Browns. But still, if I was a player, I'm going to know what I'm putting in my body. You know, it's all good. You don't want to be yeah. a vegan and all that. But make sure you know what you're putting in yeah, your body. There's no excuse for you. Y'all are grown men. We're, we're grown ups. Like, come on. Like, there's no excuse for us not to know what we're eating. You know, and whatever. I can... I could talk about that for at least about another two hours, but let's let's get back to the get back to the let's podcast. Get, yeah. that's, 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 that's right, but that's that's real talk though. Yeah, that's definitely that's, real talk. That's man. real yeah. talk, man, because I mean it's it's college players who had a problem with that. You know, they matter of fact, one of Clemson defensive tackles, he he uh, got suspended for uh, the national championship game because one of the trainers put you know had him you know. Taking part, taking something, and where he didn't get a, get a chance to play in the game. So that's that's what uh, hey. that's what sparks the, you know the whole conversation about it or whatever. And hey, get rid of your trainers, all y'all, all y'all young athletes that that your trainers don't know know anything, and you're not performing well, and you're not knowing what you're taking. Get rid of them. 
Hire me, Ernest Mitchell. Look me up. Yeah, for sure. I got you. Vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody gonna be vegan fucking with me, man. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, man. Yeah. <laughs> but like, especially athletes, you gotta, you, y'all gotta be real careful, man. You got a real short, short career, you know, uh, life, a yeah. short shelf life, you know. So you wanna, you wanna just live, live better yeah. after the football, you know. Do it, do it for after the football. Don't just do it for the football. You got to think about it. You're gonna be, you're gonna be older, way long that you're than than you're young. You know, so just just take that into consideration. Watch what you eat, and don't listen to these guys. Especially if these guys don't even. Most of these trainers look like they can't lift a pencil. You know, why would I listen to these guys about me me doing, you know, weightlifting or running and running against like other people that's 200, 300 pound linemen? Come on now, like like at least at least get a get a personal trainer that looked like he was strong at one time of his life. You know, he don't got to be the bodybuilder or anything, but you know, a personal trainer really got to put himself through a lot of stuff. Like, he got to experiment on his own self before he can experiment on other people. And if you don't got one to do that, like, like make your personal trainer take whatever you taking. How about that? Yeah, yeah, that's right. How about that? Yeah, how about that? Yeah. Make sure you know what you're doing, definitely, if you have a personal trainer. And uh, on a different note, I want to speak on this past week. The past, it was uh, 9-11. It marked uh, 18 years. 18 years. Uh, since the anniversary of uh, the Twin Towers. Yeah, the Twin Towers yeah. being taken down in New York City. Um, I know they rebuilt um, in New York City, but that's definitely an event uh, that happened that was the nation. It took the nation by storm. And yeah, where, was, where were you? Do you remember it where was you were? Crazy. Yeah, yeah. man. I think. I think I moved back in with my parents at that time, you know, right after right after I kind of stopped doing the college thing and I moved back with my parents and I just remember one morning waking up and it was like surreal. I thought it was it it felt like I was in a movie watching right. the the news. Right. And it was it was, I would definitely always remember where I was at and I remember it was a sunny day. It was a beautiful day in Dallas, Texas, you know. So I will always remember that. It was it was it was in the evening and I don't know, I didn't have a car in the world mm-hmm. until I seen that. And it was after that, everything just started going crazy. You know, that right. that that it marked a lot of stuff that you know, a lot of stuff started after nine eleven. Yeah, America. a lot of stuff. That's when that's when everything just started getting a little bit more chaotic through um through the media, through through air, through airplane flights, you right. know what I'm saying? Security. Through security. Security oh, yeah. went super crazy. They started doing colors and stuff. Like it it was it was crazy what that yeah. brought on. Yeah. It brought on a whole new fear that we we was not used to in America. We we had no fear in the world mm-hmm. before that. Yeah. But then now we kinda understand kind of where we where we stand. We definitely understand where we stand in on planet Earth, so, right? But I would, I will always remember that. Do you remember where you was at? I actually remember where I was. I actually had two roommates. Uh, I was in Antioch, Tennessee, and surprisingly, I was actually off that day. And I remember looking at the TV. I had like a little TV in my room, and I came home, and I remember seeing like as soon as I turned on the TV, one plane went into one tower. And I was like, yeah. I was just thinking to myself, like, what is yeah, that? Yeah. And then I seen it, and then it smoked up. And then all of a sudden they showed another plane going into another tower. And I was like, man, what is this? So I was locked into the TV for like, I think the rest of the evening pretty much. Yeah, um, was. I was really young, you know, when that happened. Um, but 9-11 is definitely something, you know, the families, the the firefighters. I know there's a lot of uh, firefighters that went up into the building yeah, trying to save people. It and was, Yeah, it was sad. Yeah. I mean, it was sad to actually see all that on TV. You know, it's... You know what I'm saying? It's it's more it's more you know uh, relieved now, but at the time you know and it was it was it was crazy. Mm-hmm. Like it looked like they they was actually filming a movie. You know I couldn't believe it. It it looked right. it looked so yeah. fake. You know, but it was so real. 
Yeah. You know. And there's and there's a lot of conspiracy theories. Everybody wants oh, to yeah. talk about. Yeah. I, they think that it's a plot on this, a plot on that. There's so much political stuff that goes into so 9/11, and so folks, you know, you can say what you want to about it, but the truth is, is it happened? And people died. And people, people died. A lot of people lost their lives. A lot of good people from every every country like you know every you know not just americans lost their lives on that day a lot of people a lot of a lot of um races you know what I'm saying a lot of people you know perished and i remember seeing people like jumping jumping out of the building like that, I did, was, yeah. that was crazy people were actually jumping out yeah. of the building because it was so hot inside and the flames were so hot yeah, that people like, just feel like okay you know what if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna jump out this mug because I'm. I don't want to burn up. I mean, yeah, but it was it was definitely yeah. crazy, man. But but anyway, but, uh, yeah. To all the families, you know, what I'm saying I I wish I wish them well. Exactly. You know, even 18 years later, I wish they. You know, I I wish them peace. You know, and and you know, I wish them. Uh, you know, somehow try to try to get over it because whenever I bring it, whenever I think about it. It just it makes it it brings back so many memories. So I can just imagine the people that was affected directly by it. So you know, I just want want y'all to know all the way in Dallas, Texas. You know what I'm saying? We we you know what I'm saying? We feel your pain. Mm -hmm. Still, we still feel your pain. Exactly. Definitely. And this is a you know, and this is a sports talk show. But we had to bring that on because you know, 9/11 is a big event, mm -hmm. and you know, um, so right now we're gonna. Just go ahead and just move on, you know, past that. Um, yeah. We're going to talk about – I'm just going to bring up some scores that happened today in college football. I know there's a lot of college football going on. This is going to post tonight. So, Go Sooners. By the time <laughs> – Sooners, Oklahoma. Boomer. By the time this posts, I think everything will be shown already, and you'll probably catch it on Sunday. Um, but as far as I know, right now the scores, Alabama beat South Carolina 47-23. to KSU over – Mississippi State 31 to 24, Penn State over Pittsburgh 17 to 10, OSU over Indiana 51 to 10, Tennessee go Vols 45 over Chat UGA 55 to nothing over Arkansas State and BYU beat USC actually 30 to 27. Tennessee lost to BYU last week. Of course, Tennessee lost to Georgia State the first week. Heartbreak game. You know the balls okay. are going through a little bit of a tough time right now. Uh, maybe maybe they should go vegan. Maybe yeah. they should go vegan. The, they, go, the balls they should, should go. They yeah. should go vegan, the, yo. The, the Titans the, need to get get with them. Yeah, and, get, like they need to work something. Yeah, out, yeah. get with the balls, man. No yeah, meat, just man, go just vegan, man. just eat lettuce all week. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm lettuce, telling you. tomatoes, and and, you know the, what I mean? and like I, I joke about <laughs> the the vegan part, but man, it it will it will give you clarity. It yeah. will give you mental clarity. Yeah. You know, so if you haven't tried it, try it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You try everything else. You know what I'm saying? You try all these supplements. Try try nothing. Uh, try try broccoli. Try Man. spinach, kale. It, it may be hard for some people because I know meat is a big know, part. Especially, that's, I'm a, that's crazy. I like crab legs, so crab legs and wings is like one of my favorite foods. Yeah, so. see, I can, I, can, I can do with the crab legs and wings, man. I, I eat like a freaking, I eat like a 20-piece Chicken wing bucket from like uh, Kroger. Like twenty piece, <laughs> yeah. like twenty piece, man. They sell them in a, by Jesus, a bucket. Man. I went ham, man. I don't know what happened, man. I just blacked out on chicken wings. And he didn't even gain a pound. I mean, nah, this man, dude does man. not gain weight. Man, he does I, not. I go to the gym. A he lot. goes to the gym I, a and lot. I train a lot. So, so you know, it 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 comes with it comes with the with the with the territory. So go vegan. You know what but, I mean? Yeah, I guess go, go vegan. vegan. I'm I mean, telling you, we should try. You know what? You know we, what? We should try. You and me go vegan, and we record it day by day progress, and we can air it on the podcast. I think we should, man. Why not? Should give the people something to watch. Yeah, we, we'll <laughs> we'll talk about it after the show. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to put them on the spot right now, so we're gonna talk about it after. The we'll show. we'll talk about that. Yeah, uh, man. I'm telling you, we gonna turn, turn them into a beast, man. I turn them into a beast, man. That's hard, man. I'm giving up all that nah, meat, man. everything it, that it, I love. It don't man. have to be forever, man. Dude, that's what people don't understand. That'll like, be so. It's like so. it don't have to be forever. Just do it. Do it like a start with a week. Ooh. Start with a start with go. I I challenge. Whoever watching this, including you, go one day without eating meat. One day. It's just one day. 
24 hours, one day without eating meat. But the truth of the matter is, if you're eating like a lot of red meat, a lot of uh, meat, period. it really meat is. Period. I think it's like a leading cause of cancer. I mean, oh, I guarantee, I, personally, I guarantee it is. I guarantee. Personally, I like to eat like a lot of chicken. I'm a big chicken wing fan. I also like to eat crab legs. Like I said, I, I love crab legs. I mean, it's, yeah, but just go one day without it. It's, it's just man. one day, man. Come on now. See, that's that's America for you. That's Americans for you. You know what I'm saying? We are so we are so spoiled, right, man? We are spoiled, right? Yeah, we are, America. man. We can we can go one day. Yeah, man. go to a third world go third day. world country yeah, and see what that's like. I mean, man, no, man, it's, no, it's no, nothing wanna, like yeah, America. No, I don't want to go, man. No, no, no. I, I really no, don't want to either. But it, it might they might have a better um, they might have better meat than us, to be honest. And it might be, it might be, it might be, it might be, it might be clean. Might, yeah, definitely. Man, I tell you what, man. Last thing I'm gonna talk about is the NBA. You know, it's not going on right now. I'm just gonna say that the NBA West right now. Let me list, let me give you a list of the teams that are in the NBA West got right now. I got the Lakers. I got Dude. the Kings, the Clippers, the Suns, and the Warriors. Okay, so we all know that LeBron James, the Lakers. Kawhi Leonard went to the Clippers. I mean, the Warriors got Steph Curry. I mean, I feel like the the NBA West right now is the hot topic of yeah, but the, NBA but the right West, now. The West has been the hot topic. Ever since uh, Mike and the Bulls stopped doing their thing, the West been winning everything. You got the Spurs, you got the you got the Lakers, you know, who else? Mavs even snuck in one. So like it's yeah the the West is all is always been about the West, you know. They hot. That's the West. It's, it's, it's hot. You know, even Dallas Mavericks. You know, they got Luka Don, Doncic and uh, they have a new player, Porzingis. Came over from like New York. Came over from New York. Well, yeah. The thing the thing is with the Dallas Mavs, we're we're back to rebuilding. And like I'm saying, I'm a I'm gonna do more more games this season definitely because I. I haven't. I fell off on the on the Mavs. You know, dealing with these Cowboys, man. These Cowboys and this, this heartache that they be sending me through. You know, what I'm saying it kind of. When the Cowboys do good, Dallas does good. That's right. <laughs> you know, everybody want to spend money. Everybody want to celebrate. But when Cowboys do bad, people don't want to go to work. People don't want to spend no money. This is true. I'm, it is every true. time Trust I go me. to a, every time I go to Trust a customer in me. Dallas, if Dallas loses, it's not a good day. It is not a it's good. It's not day. a good day. It's just like it, it, when we lose, it's not a good day. It, it just it isn't. And we will not be happy until we win that Super Bowl. Like, give me one Super Bowl. Give my kids when my yeah. kids never seen a Cowboy Super Bowl. Give my kids a Super Bowl. Let's go, Cowboys. Prescott, let's go. That's right. Let's go Titans. Let's see what them Titans yeah, going to do this let's year. Let's go Titans. I'm, I'm get really that, excited about the get Titans. That, get that defense. Mariota, I need you to step up. I need yeah. you to be the quarterback that I know that you can be for the Titans this year. And Derrick Henry, you're doing good things, big baby. And that yeah. defense is definitely stepping up. Next year, you got Simmons coming in on the defensive line. I know this is this year, but you got a lot of cornerbacks. Jackson and Butler. You got, man, number 31 doing big things for the Tennessee Titans. I want to see what they're going to do this year. Bring it in. Man, tighten up. You already know what it is, how it is in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. But from right now, we're in Dallas, Texas. We're going to represent. We're doing sports talk. Yeah. Man, this is Ernest Mitchell right here, man. It's Ernest Mitchell. Yeah. Man, thank you for joining me, no big bro. Problem, man. I appreciate anytime, it. Anytime I appreciate we come it. Through, we can, we're going to do this. Anytime he come through, anytime he call me. You know what I'm saying? He he hit me up. He was like, yeah, let's do it again. And I'm like, yes, let's do it again, man. Because I always enjoy my time with him. You know what I'm saying? He's a good brother. You know, he's trying to put everybody else on. So, sell, you know, so enjoy what he's doing for the community. Enjoy what he's doing for for people. You know, so, so really watch the podcast. Give some thumbs up, man. And, you know what I'm saying? Just you know, let us let us know some feedback. Let us know some feedback. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. You know, and we gonna we gonna try to keep doing this and get better. And we need to take it from from the crib to the streets. To the know? streets. Exactly. And 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 I'm gonna work on him 
and this vegan diet. We're gonna we're gonna, <laughs> we gonna do the vegan. We gotta do it. We gotta go vegan for one week. Oh, one man. week, man. One week. One week and do a little, little training. Do a little personal training with it. You Just know. like he said, we're gonna work on it. We're gonna work on it. Gonna man. Work out, gonna work. I like it's bacon going, and sausage too much. Man, I and like, wings I, and crab like, legs okay. too much, but I like all that stuff too. Like I'm saying, man, I just I just had a burger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just had one, you know. But now I feel all sluggish and all that stuff. I'm telling you, you can feel you can feel the you can feel what you eat. Yeah. You can definitely feel what you eat. So, you know, definitely. and and if you're being real with yourself, you you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But like I'm saying, he's a good brother. Mm-hmm. He's my brother. So support him, support his causes, and we're going to keep doing this. We're going to keep doing this, definitely, keep man. Because we love doing this for you, putting out information the way we see fit. This is our show. Yeah. And this is how we like to do it. It's sports talk. Yeah. Hey. We like to talk sports, hey, entertainment. We, we need some sponsorships too. Yes. Come on, y'all. Send us some stuff, sponsorships. man. Sponsorships. Send us some stuff. We we got you. <laughs> we'll put it on the air, man. Send us some stuff. We'll clean it up too. Okay. Mm-hmm. We'll clean it up. But you gotta send us some stuff. That's right. You know, and if you can do money, I like I like that. Big bags of money. You just send that our way too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's then, right. we, then we can do it full time. <laughs> Yeah. So from me to you, Ernest Mitchell, to you, thank you for joining us. Have a good night. Enjoy Sunday football all day long. A lot of teams. Also Monday uh, football. A lot of football going on. I don't know if y'all play fantasy football. I play fantasy. Football is back, man. And uh, football is back, man. It's back. It's a good time of year. You know what I'm saying? Get your your, your grills out. We're talking about vegan, but break out your grills. You know what I'm saying? Barbecue. You can grill some (laughs) vegan stuff, man. You can. You can. Hey man, I was watching some stuff. They they got some vegan ribs, and if you if you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. They take like a mushroom and they dice it up and they grill it. They put a little vegan barbecue sauce on it. They say that it tastes good. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Sounds good to me. Ah, uh-huh. you put barbecue sauce on anything, man. It's gonna taste like barbecue. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and grill it. You grill it and put some barbecue sauce on it. It's gonna taste. Yeah, okay, I guess. Yeah. That sounds good to me. But anyway, till next week, man. Till next week. We're gone. We're gone. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Sports okay. talk. Sports talk. I'm pretty sure that that went. <laughs>